Hey guys, this is Andy Chatfield from PTC Optics. I am here today to show you how to upgrade the firmware to the latest version for your PTC Optics 20X STI G2 camera. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the firmware folder for the 20X STI G2. We are going to run the upgrade program. You're probably already familiar with this. If you set the IP address of your camera, it will show you, um, it will search by the first six digits of the MAC address, and it will find you every PTZ Optics camera on your network and show you the IP. I know for a fact the one that I'm looking to work on is my 20X SDI, and that is 87. So the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to back it up. Back up success. Great. Now I'm going to go to upgrade. I'm going to change my type to MTD. Go to query, make sure I have a connection to the camera. Now I'm going to find a good disk image file. 20X STI firmware G2. This is my disk image here. And I'm going to begin the upgrade. Now this will shoot up to 85% and it'll sit here for five minutes. It's then going to reboot your camera and go to 98%. It'll then reboot and complete. Um, do not disconnect your camera, either the power or the Ethernet connection, while it is in the middle of the firmware upgrade, or it can break the camera, and this will leave you leave you with a completely useless camera. Um, yeah, I think that should be about it. Oh yeah, it will wipe all settings on your your camera as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, Anything you set in the on-screen display, any, any the IP address, anything like that, will go back to factory defaults. So remember the IP address that you set for your camera, because we will have to set it back to that before we can uh, complete the backup process. So my camera just rebooted for the first time, and I will wait for it to reboot again. All right, my camera is rebooting for the second time now, so it should be just about finished up. And there we go. My camera has been successfully firmware upgraded. So now I'm going to go back and search for it. I know it's the one that's reverted back to its factory default IP address of 100.88. So I'm going to config this back to 11.87. 
and I will set it. It's going to reboot. Once I'm able to find it again, I'm going to go restore the backup. Um, the backup for in this firmware upgrade doesn't actually back up any settings or anything like that. It stores some specific. Ooh, did I? I guess I did 81. That's not what I meant to do. Um, the the backup restores um, specific settings for one specific chip inside the camera. And for a full successful firmware upgrade, you just have to restore that information from the backup. So now that we should be back to 101.87, I'm going to restore. Camera will reboot again. And it should be complete soon. Backup successful. All right. So my camera should be completely firmware upgraded, and it should be good to go. I'm just going to test it real quick in VLC. One eight seven. Yeah, see. There it is. So there is my camera feed. Um, so yeah, this should be the, the most recent firmware up, upgrade. And uh, if you guys have any issues, get in contact with us at pdcoptics.com. And I will see you next time. Have a good day, guys.